Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Avernum 6. Alright, so we are back in the breeding tunnels, not breeding grounds or whatever I was calling them um, most of the time. So, uh, yeah, well, anyway. You're here. And I guess the, the area isn't even that large. It's, it might really only be two screens worth, and we've already cleared the first one. But we never looked past here, so there's definitely more to do here. Uh, also, well, yeah, pockets are pretty much empty, except for some random stuff that I picked up along the way. I feel like there was something else. Uh, well, there are level ups. I want to say, yeah, oh wow, he definitely leveled. He has 10 points. Was I saving those specifically, or did I just forget? Surely he didn't level twice. Since I mean, obviously he leveled twice since I last spent points on something, but... Hmm. Was I trying to save up for something? Magical efficiency is looking good. Uh, did I... Was it her who I gave extra luck? No. Well, yeah, no. Actually, I did. Okay. Right. Yeah, for for her, I gave I gave her two points of luck last time. Uh, apparently she was at zero. And I figured that next level up, uh, she's going to have six points for two more luck increases, which might be as far as I take it. We'll see. Um... He already has three points of luck, but I think those might all be from equipment. Yeah. I mean, I could just do this, get his luck all the way up to seven. Like, I mean, that should be a pretty sizable boost across all resistances. Let's see, armor goes only up by three, actually. Okay. Definitely diminishing returns there. Or very uneven increases. Fire resist goes up by five percent. Not bad. From 5% fire resist from 4 levels of luck. Poison and acid go up by quite a bit. Well, yeah, everything goes up. Stun resistance actually goes up quite a bit. You know what? Yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm very okay with that. I think that's a pretty... Should be a pretty decent defensive boost. Uh, as for you guys... Well, more lethal blow it is. Cost has gone up to 6. So from here on out, we're going to have to either wait or he's 42 yeah he's he's not the highest right because of the penalty for non-humans well actually he's not really that far behind just one level anyway wow she has 11 points so she definitely could have increased lethal blow last time i just forgot apparently it happens and now the cost has gone up to seven so i'm just going to go ahead and give her um, like a wisdom crystal, why not? Huh? Did I misclick? I did. And another level. So that's like an extra 8%. Yeah, it's f I think it's 4% chance per level for to deal extra an extra 40, flat 40% more damage. So that's just an extra 8% increase to get that. Pretty good. Pretty darn good. Um, I guess I can just go ahead and give him this right away, so he's ready for next level up. I mean, I'm eventually going to use all of those items anyway, right? And hopefully more that I can, that I will eventually be able to craft with all these Mandrake roots. I think that's what those are for. Um, and whatever else of my other herbs that I've also not been using, um, I also need, but yeah. But I mean, I don't, what I don't know is whether it's one Mandrake root per, like, knowledge brew or whatever. Uh, that would be pretty amazing, honestly. Um, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, that's what I've been saving those up for. I, I mean, I'm guessing that we're going to enter the Dragon's Domain at some point, right? And that that area is going to have the most high-level trainers. That seems to make the most sense to me, because where else would they be, right? We've, I mean, okay, there could be trainers and alchemists actually inside Fort Davenor, where Solberg is hiding out. Well, not hiding out, hanging out, I guess, and planning, or doing whatever he's doing. But that is basically the f the only other place that we haven't been to except for Melanchion's domain. But Melanchion might not e even be friendly to us, or his place might not be by the time we enter. I mean, so far people have been friendly enough, but also kind of defensive, you know, uh, against outsiders. But clearly we're going to have to deal with that whole situation in some way. And, well, I, 
it wouldn't be much it wouldn't be very interesting if if we just visited fr in a friendly manner and you know there was no conflict to solve or anything so i don't know we'll see uh what now horde war lizard randomly okay i mean this is their breeding area i suppose and uh, i guess it's been a while since we last visited so some of them would have respawned That's fine, it's gonna do something, or is it? Because we can actually parry kinda decently. That's pretty good. In fact, can we increase... Cannot increase parry... She doesn't even have repost. Um... Wait. Didn't someone? Maybe not. Maybe... We used to have that from a, from a, from equipment, but yeah, no. Okay, no, well, that's fine. Uh, let's just actually start playing the game and worry about skills uh, when the time comes, and just a little bit less in general. Because I mean, I don't think that anything we do anymore from this point on uh, is gonna have a huge impact on anything, just because there are only gonna be so many more level ups. I mean, that being said, if we actually can make a huge number of knowledge brews with all those herbs I've been saving, then there might still be quite a few more skill increases in store for us. Okay, I did not expect that lizard to walk quite this far. Impressive. Also, there are quite a few more than I expected. And they are pretty tanky. Um, well, this is a bit late. But maybe better late than never. The first couple of combats, or specifically the first one in, in each new episode, especially after not having played immediately before, tends to go something like this, where I just, uh, you know, just don't follow my usual procedure. Uh, that's a lot of lizards. Let's see if we can dace literally all of them. That that works. That'll do nicely. Ah, close. <clears throat> uh, sure. You can actually go ahead and just blast these suckers, killing one of them. We'll see what these do. Okay, they actually do try to reach him, but that's fine. Use your stuff yet? That was a lot of damage. Very nice. Oh yeah, okay. One of those was a lethal blow. For 82 damage. And then she just got a second swing. But that wasn't lethal. That was just that just happened to deal 81 damage. Okay. I mean, either way, it's fine by me. I'll, oh. Okay. Don't use cold against these particular lizards. I guess I maybe knew that at one point. So, is fire going to be effective then? Uh, yeah. Pretty much. Interesting. I was wondering if it would just default to these enemies in front of him, but no, it's just literally random. Uh, okay, that was a bit dicier than I needed to be. Good. Good. Yeah, I might have been getting a little bit careless with these. Okay. Well, this one's actually just woken up, so it was going to attack... Uh, next turn anyway. This one, for some reason, has not noticed us at all. Actually, just Fireball. No need to waste a ton of mana here without, you know, early on without a good reason. Okay, there. of course there's more. 
Ah, I should have figured as much. There's actually even a mini boss. A thousand health, though. I mean, very minor boss. Hey, it should be fine. Our buffs are still looking decent. I'm gonna use the time to uh, actually go ahead and just heal everyone a little. I could just try to get a daze in, but actually I don't know if I can reach them from here. I suppose I might as well. Give it a shot, and in fact, that did reach all the way to the mini boss. But there's also more. All right, it's fine though. Who are you trying to reach? It seems like this lizard must be trying to come after Xaz because it could have attacked Lulu from the front. Wouldn't it have to round the corner like that? Huh. Either way, we're going to have you just go here and attack this guy. might should work just fine against you. Yeah. Hmm, okay. No, wait. The lizard was going after her. Okay. Not the first time that enemy behavior and pathing specifically doesn't seem to make a ton of sense. Probably the worst offender we've seen. Uh, well, I suppose you can help deal with this one while the other enemies are still dazed. And I don't really want my warriors to just run so much back and forth, so I guess we're, they're actually going to start working on these guys here. Um, well, that being said, this is a bit wasteful, isn't it? Oh well. It's also gonna take a while to kill this thing. Hmm. <laughs> okay, you run away. Hmm. Wait, what? Why'd he run away? I guess it's a actually a ranged attacker. Walking in a straight line. It should not come as a surprise, but, you know. Okay. Um, trainer did something. I hasted them. That's fine, I suppose. Yeah, we're gonna deal with you first. Or not. I mean... We will, still. Start walking over this way. Well aimed. Just shoot, I guess. Okay. Good. Probably should have actually... Well, it's fine now. Either way. Come on, mighty blow. Okay, there's the spine shield. Wonderful. Yep, you love to see it. Okay, well, change of plans. <laughs> Killing the lizard first. That is the four-legged one. Okay. Can you reach from there? Well, you probably can from there. the shielding and everything, it's just... Ah, oh well. <laughs> well, that lizard went down just fine, even with a shield spell in, in place. So that's good, at least. Why don't you go ahead and spray some acid? Yeah, it's not... I don't know, I feel like sometimes it's decently effective, even on spellcasters and, and sliths. Kinda... Kinda depends on the enemy in question. 
Or maybe it's it's just never that effective against Sliths. But, well, you know. It's not completely ineffective either. Okay, we can not slow. Yeah, we actually need to fix that. You know what? You can attack. Better you than Ayali, because her multi-hits can really uh, do a number on her when... You know, against enemies that are uh, that are using spine shield. Well aimed smite. That's not going to be good. Oh wow! Never mind. It was actually pretty decent. Okay. Uh yeah. You want to go ahead and undo the slowing. Of course, we got a new summon here. That's fine, though. Ouch. Ouch. Oh. Nice one-shot on the worm. We'll take it. Uh, yeah, we top you off. Uh, lightning, I guess. Oh, actually, it's really not amazing. I assume fire is going to do even less, though? Yeah. Hmm. Turns out... The lizards here... <laughs> the wall lizards are basically immune to cold. But uh, against the sliths, it's actually pretty much the only thing that works in terms of magic. Right. Uh, curing elixir. Sure. One for the collection. No wand. Stun. Meh. Fine Lancer though, we'll take those. Return life. Presumably what uh, uh, the person we just killed dropped, whose name I never paid attention for uh, attention to. Sorum, right. Okay, random little camp dealt with. Wizard nests. Okay, we had seen this other entrance. Okay, more lizards over that way. And it looks like there is actually a third map to this. Yeah, it seemed like it like it would be the case. Okay, well let's finish looking around here, I suppose. going on up here, which is honestly fine. Oh, hello there. Uh, are they going to be more lizards? Possibly. Might as well prepare this time. What? Oh, I, wait. Let's... There you go. Finally managed to press the right button. Okay, so there is actually only this one lizard here. Well, something around that corner, but there might be some more around here as well. I guess we'll find out if they attack automatically, or if I have to... Oh yeah, okay. Uh, that, that'll do, I suppose. You know what? Um, yeah, well, finish this one first. The others might actually just decide to join. Well, they will if I do this. Okay, yep. You can tell by the uh, the delay of, and nothing happening there. Uh, actually, I have no idea why most of these did not move at all. Or specifically these two that I attacked before. <laughs> that is a bit weird, even by Avernum enemy standards. But fine. Do I top him off just in case? Maybe. Scanning. Probably get attacked next turn, so yeah, maybe better safe than sorry. You know what? You just shoot. Ah, I was hoping that's. Oh, actually, fireball. Kill this one. Well, I suppose since the game insists, I'll just uh, do another one of these. A 
Okay, now they all move. And there's another one. Okay. Nice one. Uh, so much for playing it safe and keeping uh, the hawk healthy. Yeah. And now we're not actually going to kill most of these. I mean, he's not full health, and he is going to attack, uh, get attacked by all four of these if I don't do anything. So, you know what? Let's sacrifice his turn and yeah, make it so they have to either just switch targets or waste most of their action points moving around. I mean, that kind of worked, actually. Obviously, I sacrificed his attack, but he lived. I guess that's probably worth it. Uh, yeah, you took a few attacks. That's totally okay. And you can continue burning them. Just gonna make them attack you again. But we're down to only three, so... Although we probably would have recovered most of that anyway. Nice. Uh, I don't suppose the lizards that we saw down there were among the ones we just killed. They were probably a little bit too far away to notice this fighting going on up here. But we'll see. Or maybe not. I guess I was wrong. Alright. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. I was just going to say, uh, wait, there is no path to that, but actually there is going to be because... Wait, oh, it's trickier. We'll have to create a path to this button in the first place. Okay. Um, there might actually be one hiding here. There is not. Oh, no, wow, that's, in that's invisible. I mean, it's not, but... Okay, interesting. Uh, I guess we should, yeah, hit that one, which allows us access to this button here, and another tunnel through here. Wow, this better be something amazing. Uh, what? You don't know enough nature lore to locate it. Okay, that suggests that there's something amazing, potentially. Okay, how much am I willing to invest in nature lore? We still have two people who can increase it for only two. But we do have a decent amount overall. So 5, 8, uh, 12, 15. Hmm. I suppose I did decide on a value that I was aiming for. Oh, actually, that my list from all the way back when I started the game, it says 18. So we're not even there. That would explain that, I suppose. Huh. You know what? It's probably not worth it. Especially if, like, if this gives us, say, a Mandrake root, which is kind of the minimum I would, I would expect in terms of rarity for, you know, requiring, well, first of all, being relatively well hidden as far as these things go, as well as, uh, you know, actually requiring a pretty decent amount of, uh, of cave lore, or nature lore. Um, even if it's that, and that allows us to make one extra knowledge brew, obviously if we need to use one to even get it in the first place, then uh, was it really worth it? I guess not, but... Nature lore cost has gone up. Is this extra point enough? It is not. Oh, you're gonna drink another one. Nature lore up to four. Still not enough. Dang it. <laughs> hmm. Okay. 
I mean, I guess I'm okay with having invested those two potions. Am I? Yeah, I suppose. I'll save this, that's fine. But if this next one doesn't do the trick... And we are up to 18 now, right? That's an extra three points. That was enough, and it's... Oh, not at all what I expected. A rune plate. Um, right. Ooh, you have a charmed plate. Okay. 34 armor, 50 stun resist, 20 mind effectors. Oh, I thought we had seen one of these, yeah. Okay. Spellcraft, huh? Interesting. I mean, this is pretty valuable. Although... I mean, yeah, 2,000 is fine, but it's only going to sell for, what, 400? It's decent, but was it worth three knowledge brews? I don't know. Probably not, to be honest. Because <laughs> I could have used those, could have invested those in something, you know, immediately helping with our survival. As it is, I don't think I'm going to use this one, am I? The spellcraft obviously is wasted on my warriors. That being said, I mean, this one gives luck and hostile effect resistance, so this one's, yeah, we're not replacing that. This one, however, oh yeah, I guess it's just a straight upgrade, huh? I just chose to give uh, the rune plate that I did get to Lulu because obviously, well, she would benefit from the spellcraft and the mind effect resistance as well. I mean, anyone is going to benefit from that. Yeah, but um, as it is, it's slightly heavier, which doesn't matter in the slightest. It's better armor, if not by much. It is actually better stun resistance, and it provides extra mind effect resistance. Spellcraft, obviously. I don't think that does anything for non-spellcasters. But yeah, okay. Never mind, we'll take that. I guess since it actually ended up being a somewhat of an upgrade for one of my fighters, it was worth it after all. You approach this mutilated body nervously, only to find that it's not a body at all. It's a remarkable, re remarkably realistic dummy made to train war lizards. It has been repeatedly savaged by their sharp teeth and powerful jaws. Interesting. Why would they not just use bodies? Train war lizards. Huh. Okay. That's... Hmm. What, what would they make a surprisingly... Um realistic dummy or training training dummy from though if not actual like body parts okay we got stairs going up here uh you know what might as well check them out as soon as we find them lest we forget later not that i'm prone to doing that kind of thing or anything okay uh always happy to see open portcullises those never just slam shut behind you. <clears throat> as soon as everyone steps through. Well, not immediately. Did I save? I did save at some point, yeah, so it's fine. What's this gonna do for us? Magical energy is drained. Oh, well, screw that. It didn't drain by much, I don't think, but might as well not have it drained by anything. I'm still going with the uh, good old justification, not that I need one, uh, for reloading in these kinds of cases, because I feel like, you know, realistically, my characters should be able to just taste an, an unknown liquid in a way that's safe, or, you know, reasonably safe, to determine what kind of effect it, it would have, you know, especially in the cases where, where you just the entire party at once gulps down an entire basin of something that then turns out to be acid and damages them <laughs> severely. I mean, you would be able to tell, <laughs> you know. Um, in this case, you know, arguably the effect is so subtle that maybe by just tasting a drop of it, you wouldn't know until you drink a bit more of it, but whatever. You have found what used to be some sort of magic thing. <laughs> there is a ring of glowing crystals around a circle inscribed with runes. Energy in the air making your skin tingle. Something magical was happening here. This wouldn't be the uh, the Vonatai crystal thing we're looking for, right? What that was from the description that was supposed to be further to the west, right? I I concluded that it probably was in that um, whatever the place was called that is 
blocked off by impossible, um, impossibly strong barriers. Te Tenebra or something? Ten Tenebra? Tenebra? Whatever. But maybe it's here? I don't know. Um, glowing crystals around a circle and scrambled through it. Could be something else entirely. Something magical was happening here, but then the Slytherica came and they adapted this odd workshop to a new purpose, breeding strange new varieties of lizard. Hmm. You can see them milling around the circle, happily absorbing waves of raw magical energy. Oh, that does not sound good. Altered wall lizards. Altered beasts. Okay. Literally altered beasts. Ah, I was gonna say, you'd, you'd think that they would see us from, from there. And I guess they did, ultimately. You guys are just gonna wait. And we'll just fight them one at a time. I think that's totally okay. I don't suppose you can... Well, you can do that. Hit point wise these don't seem particularly bad, but... You never know. Oh. Okay. They block... Almost all physical damage, which is not great. Uh, do you have your fire sword out? You do. Well, so at least one of your weapons should deal good damage. Okay. Actually, both of your weapons did. No, never mind. The first one didn't. Not by comparison. Okay. How do you like cold damage? Uh, can I see you from there? No. I see you from there. Yes. Takes no damage at all. Okay. So, fire is the way to go? Seems like it. And you don't really have an alternative, so you just poke it for six damage. That's... <laughs> well, that's what it is. Uh, just wait, it's fine. Oh god, oh no! Oh, this is so bad. Also, there's this person, Battle Mage X. All right. Huh. I mean, oh, these actually have different resistances, don't they? I didn't even see an. There probably was, but I didn't really notice a, an obvious spell effect on the one we killed. So, now of course, this could mean all kinds of things. Like, this blue stuff might indicate that this one is immune to frost. Or, you know, extremely resistant to it. Or maybe it determines, or that denotes the weakness. But, no, I don't know. Okay, so, I, I guess this at least makes me hopeful that they're not all immune to my most powerful weapon, uh, or, you know, damage type. But that being said, still don't want to fight them all at once, if I can help it, you know. This one seems to be taking normal-ish um, physical damage, at least. So, that seems to prove my theory, potentially. Cannot see that space, you say. What space can you see? That one, apparently. Okay, fire works just fine. The line of sight is extremely awkward here, to say the least. Okay, that lizard is not willing to cooperate here. <sighs> problem is, well, you see what the problem is. Hmm. Ah, oh, well, it's, uh, can't really be helped, can it? Unless, no, well, actually, maybe it can be helped. You know what? We will retreat further back, create an opening. I mean, theoretically, that lizard should be possible, should be possible, should be able to reach any one of us that it chooses. I guess it just chose not to do that. Okay, now it's coming. It hits really hard. Really hard. 
There's another one. Okay. Now suddenly they decide to attack. The damage is worrisome. Like, we're not debuffed or anything. I mean, the f did the first one even do anything? Come to think of it? Uh, what? Huh? Oh, it's... You're not our healer. That's right. Okay, anyway, we can... Check out this one, okay. And uh, you can... Heal him up, just fine. Fireball? Nope. So this one with the green stuff flowing around, the green axis, um, is at the very least pretty resistant to fire. Not to physical, though. I mean, honestly, if we have dealt with the one that is resistant to physical and got that one out of the way already, then I'm totally okay with that. Very happy, in fact. Come on. Okay. Never mind. This one's completely immune to... Yeah, it's completely immune to cold. What did I try first? Actually, I don't even remember anymore. Did I... Or did I tr already try cold? That's actually what I tried before, isn't it? Okay, whatever. Yeah, okay, lightning works just fine. Okay. Hawk resisted the charm spell. Very nice. Okay, it's three down. Honestly, just... Yeah, do anything but that. <sighs> Why did I trust the game to not just randomly move me three steps forward and right into the room? You know what, it's fine. I'm actually going to risk saving here because I feel like we should be able to deal with these. Yeah, okay. Dealing good damage to this one. Everything's fine. Now, would these be susceptible to control spells? Yes, as it turns out. Okay. Okay, so it's taking very solid damage, and it's already dead. Awesome. And it didn't even deal a ton of damage um, using its, you know, one with its one attack that it was able to do. Hmm. Fireball? Yeah. Okay. That hurts. That hurts a lot. Yikes. Okay, stun the Metal Mage. For what it's worth. Oh, I can save, safely step here. Yeah, okay. Just making extra sure. We're going to debuff you. Nice. Um... Okay, I'm actually more than a little bit worried now. If the battle mage is going to... Actually, if I move her over this way, the battle mage should not be able to use lightning spray on both her and Hawk anymore, if it works like ours, which I assume it does. Um, so they might choose to use that spell again, but they will use it against Ayali and Xaz, who should be fine. I'm still going to top off Hawk first, because... Yeah, if, uh, if they choose to target him with it, they would have killed him, right? Because, yeah. They just would have. Okay. Buffs are still good. I think I'm gonna try to slow them down. Ayali's filled with total terror. And was heavily damaged as well. Not amazing. At all. <sighs> okay, thank you. Just gonna heal them both. 
obviously, uh, yeah, I would like to get rid of the, of the terror, but, you know, there are only so many things I can do. Uh, well-aimed... Well-aimed acid, I guess. For what it's worth. Okay, you slowed us, that's totally okay. Removed our haste. We can work with that. Very solid hit. Very, very solid. Okay. Unshackle that mind. Move forward. Get yourself into harm's way. Okay, he slowed us, tried to slow us again, but that was mostly a wasted turn because we just cast fresh haste. Obviously, that's going to last a little. And this guy is going down. Yeah, okay, the lizard is attacking. We have a summoned wolf, but that doesn't seem that bad. You can walk over here. I am I am aware and slightly worried about the fact that we are, once again, clustered together the way that we are. So we could be in for another lightning bombardment. But... Can I actually do that? Okay, that didn't really do anything. Okay. Well, I'll definitely take that. Uh, well, you, you can use some healing, I suppose. the lizard try to do? Oh, unaffected by freezing cold. Okay. But it takes normal physical damage. So we should be fine here. Fireball works just as well. Two fireballs even. Okay. No idea how we're resisting all of those freezing cold attacks, but I'm glad that we do. Because those suck. Okay, that went pretty pretty all right, I would say. What do we get? Heart Striker bow. Okay, base damage eight to thirty-two. Hmm. I mean. It doesn't give any bonuses. It's extremely valuable, though. Holy crap. 4,000 might be the most valuable single item I've seen, actually. Like, that is actually nuts. Yeah, we have some a couple of things in, that are worth 2,500. Okay, these are 3,000, but... Oh, no. Okay, Gloves of the Hammer are actually worth 4,000. That's... Okay, so it's not without precedent, but it's uh, it's definitely up there. Holy crap. Okay, we got a bunch of these as well. I mean, we're going to take this one and just sell it, I guess. Because really, I mean, I, I can only assume that it's somehow really good, really decent as a bow. Heart Striker. I mean, that sounds kind of amazing, but the damage doesn't look that fantastic. Unless it shoots multiple projectiles or something. I can't really see how this beats, um, you know any other bow that deals more damage. Of which there are at least... Well... This one. Actually... Well... I guess it kind of balances out. It's slightly lower... lower low-end damage, but slightly higher high-end damage. Same average damage, I think. But of course this one has a built-in 5% or whatever, or... No, actually it's just plus one damage. Period due to the sharpshooter talent, plus one base damage. So I guess it's effectively an 11 to 31. Whatever. Uh, and then there, there's, of course, a fungal bow, which just has straight up way better base damage. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, what could Hauntstrucker mean? It, it kind of makes it sound like it would have a built-in chance to maybe, like, critically hit, like a lethal blow effect built in or something. 
you know, a chance to actually strike the enemy's heart. I don't suppose it's gonna be in. It would be in, you know, a chance to instantly kill. That would be maybe a little bit too overpowered. Maybe I'll do some research and see if I can find out exactly what it does. But the thing is that, you know, it g doesn't give any additional bonuses. I guess if it. If I find any evidence that it's actually, like, really, really powerful in terms of just raw damage, I might still give it to Lulu. Because, you know, 10% mind effect resistance is decent, but I guess I would be willing to give that up if I really get a, you know, significant damage increase out of it. I kind of doubt it, though. I don't know. Anyway, so apparently these crystals were completely unrelated to the quest that I mentioned earlier. That's expected, I suppose. What are these? Acid? Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gain new insight. Okay. So... Let's just skip the obvious bubbling, hissing, steaming acid basin and not drink that stuff. And just go straight for the, the other one that turns out to just give us insight. I suppose you would learn something from drinking acid. Mostly not to drink acid. But, you know, the game doesn't think that it's worth actually giving you experience for. What's this? Whip. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Another staircase, not directly connected to the other cave. Blocked off. Ooh, what? Get two generic gazers over here? Possibly more? They will actually aggro from over there, which is annoying. And this is a, a dead end, unfortunately. Hmm. Oh god, there's something... Green. I didn't quite see what it was. Oh god. Yeah. Well, we definitely don't want to be blasted by more than one of these. Like, by any number of these. So that's actually really... A really nasty setup here. I don't really know how best to approach that. There are no secret buttons or anything either to open up some sort of sneaky way to actually get, you know, around here and past them, behind them. So you just have to kind of suck up their attacks well, as you make your way toward them. But even then, even, even once you get into melee with at least three of these, that's pretty bad. <laughs> the hit points... 888, 838 actually. It's kind of... Kind of low-ish, especially since they typically uh, don't have a ton of resistance. Okay, anyway, let's see if we can do something tricky here, perhaps. We're gonna have you... Okay, you can't shoot that one from there. And eventually even hit. And they technically have a path to us, so... Oh yeah, okay. So, in theory... Now all we need to do is wait. Oh, that actually worked. Actually, never mind. <laughs> I mean, it, it did work, but this is actually the green one that I saw. Interesting. Just go ahead and attack this one, I guess. Reduce its armor. Attack again. It does resist most of her fire damage, which makes sense. But too lazy to switch weapons. Physical works just fine. Um, I guess I'll just gamble and use lightning. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, I mean, we shot one of the one of the eye beasts. No, one of the gazers. Well, I 
Yeah, the, the red ones are called gazers, right? This one is called the eye beast. Slightly tougher. Uh, so we did shoot one of the red ones. Ooh, nice damage. And it got aggroed. Started presumably coming towards us. But then instead, the green one arrived. So what happened to the, to the red one? Who knows? Did we kill you? Uh, well, yes. Okay. Not making the same mistake again. We're safely retreating here before exiting combat. Save that for sure. Hello? Oh. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. Hi there. That will do nicely. I don't think I'm even going to bother with, uh, you know, armor reduction against these. Just deal straight up damage. I could have done a well in blow there. Should have done that. That's okay. Uh, these might have slightly different resistances, but we'll see. Yeah, actually, they might be more resistant to... Oh, hi there. More, They seem to be more resistant to lightning. Fair enough. Okay, yeah, these are actually also the ones that apply the lightning debuff, which we have not seen the green one do. Also, somehow I assumed that the green one was kind of like the boss. Oh, wait, is it? No, it's it's uh, this, the exact same as the one that we fought earlier. All right. Yeah, you're going to have to move past that one. Definitely want to try to finish that one off. Uh, so fire was pretty ineffective against them. Yeah, so let's see. Can we hit them both from here? We can. That did not deal a lot of damage at all. Okay. Probably should have activated like, Ward of Elements, considering we're fighting these extremely magical creatures here that are, you know, known for attacking primarily with magical attacks. Down to 100. Okay, that's still more than it seemed from looking at the, the almost depleted health bar there. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to focus on healing for now. We are down to only two of them, though, so that makes me slightly optimistic. They can deal... Some nasty damage, but we haven't really seen them do anything. Seen them do anything like close to just close to one-shotting someone in before they can actually do that. But it's looking kind of okay. And we even get a chance to make things even safer by doing that. Let's see, does fire work against you? No, not really. Um, that severely limits your options. Let's try a boosted Icy Rain, I guess. Eh, <laughs> I guess... I guess it was okay, all things considered. But yeah, physical damage is definitely the way to go against these. No surprise there. Getting all these double hits as well, very nice. Um, there. Keep healing you, because the lightning buff is still going, obviously. Lightning buff, debuff. Same thing, you know. Yeah, there's another one. All right. And there's another one. Another freaking... Oh, what? Obesic of the eye? Uh, obesic? <laughs> That's... Not great. I guess I should not be so surprised to actually see a boss here, but... I don't know. I guess I'm still surprised. <sighs> Do we need any more buffs? I guess it couldn't hurt to refresh. 
know what? Why don't you stand back here? Uh, it's not really gonna work, is it? It's not gonna come into melee range just magically. Maybe it will. If you retreat a little bit. Can you shoot it from there? Yeah. Let's see if this works out. This is a bit awkward, but... I'd rather not try to fight this thing while it's... It's boss, mother, or whatever, is looking straight at us. Okay, that worked. That didn't even do anything. Very nice. Uh, we already did lower its armor, I think. So we should be able to kill it even quicker now. Okay, and 43? You can do it. You could actually do it. You did do it. Very nice. Okay, so I don't know how, but Obesic... <laughs> Obesic? That is such a weird name. Yeah. Feels like I'm uh, insulting it. Not that I don't want to necessarily, but still. Um, Obesic or Obesic or whatever. Mysteriously did not see us. I'm not, not sure how that works, but I'm glad for it. Okay, also looking at the timer here... Honestly, I should just... I should just play it safe and end the episode here. We saw what's coming up next time. Uh, it's a bit of a teaser, I guess. But yeah, we're going to just go ahead and refresh buffs one more time. I'm actually going to even go ahead and... You know what, never mind, this is still pretty expensive. And we just cast it. With any luck, it's gonna... It should last for most of the upcoming fight, I think. So I'm just gonna leave things as as they are right now and yeah next time we're going to take a look at well what looks like the boss of this mini dungeon here uh, I mean it didn't have a ton of hit points either still quite a bit more than its lesser cousins uh, we'll see how bad that's gonna be um, yeah anyway for the time being I thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and I shall see you real soon bye bye